I'm starting the stream with like a little coaching session. Um, I'll probably just like I I I haven't watched I haven't watched uh this this game yet, but I'll probably like skip through it a bit. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm joining the Discord in a second. Um, I'll probably skip through it a bit. I'll mostly just like you know focus on like the important stuff, so like the early game pressure and stuff. Um, hot tub streamers are evolving. What do you mean? Good morning, Z City. Um. But yeah, I haven't watched it yet, so what is this? Overwatch League career. Skip to fifty. Well I'm I'm alright. So <laughs> I've seen this. This is nuts. That's absolutely nuts. Um, okay. I am getting this going. And I'm gonna record this just for YouTube if you know if it's sick. If it sucks though, if I suck at doing this, then I'll simply explode the VOD. Um Hello, hello. I'm gonna, hello. I'm gonna drag okay. us actually real quick. Hold on. Okay. Great. I just muted the stream. Do you wanna share in Discord so it's not Yeah, 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 I can. Okay. Um, Sounds good. Yeah, man, I, dude, my match history is a shit show. What did you say your MMR went down to? Uh, I hit, like, 1150. I was at, like, 2100 after, like, you gave me all those tips with Suki and stuff, mm. and then I did a massive loss streak. That's tough. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear at, that. At this point, at this point, like, I can hold my own weight in, like, a diamond game or, like, a high plat game, but I can't carry a low elo game because I'm just not that good. I got you. Yeah, it's it's tough too, cause like in solo, it's like it, it can be really hard. You, like in those low elo lobbies, you can literally lose the game before you like get your second yeah. blue buff. You know. Mhm. Mm um, like I would say realistically, like if you really wanted to climb out of like really low ranks, your best bet would be like playing like jungle or mid, and then queuing with the other like a jungler yeah. or mid. Um, but for solo, I mean, like that's the thing is like. At some point, you're gonna get good enough at solo that like you'll be playing at like a diamond level, right? And like you'll just you'll be able to carry the games. Like if you if you fall down to lower ranks, like that's like whenever I go on lost streaks, I'm like, okay, at some point, like I'm gonna hit a MMR where it's like I simply shit on the enemy solo so hard that it, the enemy there's just no way they can win, you know? So it's like at some point you get to that point, but yeah, this this game was at like eighteen fifty, maybe nineteen hundred, and. Uh... I think I played well. You said to grab one that I thought I played well. This was like 10 days ago. This was on like the 4th, I think. Okay. Yeah, you can just... Uh, I just have music. Gotcha. And I also talk on it, so. I you... usually solo start blue, but um, I don't know. It's, I, I started doing that like a few days ago. This yeah. Was a bit I, does, the, does the King Arthur solo start blue? Uh, he does, yeah. yeah. So he's like, he just gets like pressure on you early because of that start. Um, so whenever I was doing the, whenever I was doing the speed to blue start, I would get my heal second um, instead of dash, uh, and it's not bad against King Arthur because no, so like, um, it's not bad against King Arthur because he uh, he like if he f if he all ends the wave right here he has like mm -hmm. just barely enough damage to kill everything right with blue stone if you heal yeah. it he'll take a ton of damage um okay. so like if you like stand his abilities and you have your heal up um you can you can like heal your minions he doesn't he doesn't get his three though so he he doesn't try to like do the all in and you you stand in there and you get a lot of pressure on him anyways um i think if you played up on him there and hit your dash you kill him yeah, me too. And then I missed the dash. Yeah. Yeah, I would say, like, so... Probably switch the order of your abilities right here. Um, you So, like, you always... This is, like, it's it's not necessarily, like, this, this exact situation. But you always want to use your, your ability... Your 3 before your 2 and your 1, right? Because your 2 and your 1 give you cooldown reduction. Um, your 1 only if you're next to an ally or whatever. Um... Here, I would just say threeing him, and then when once he realizes, like, oh shit, I might die, he like starts to run away. Then you have a slow on him. Um, okay, yeah. But like, like also just like in most situations when you're fighting somebody, you want to three them and then two them. 
yeah, because it shreds. Yeah, yeah, I gotta, yeah. I gotta do that more often. So that was good finding pressure. I would say probably waiting on the heal because you're you're not in combat when you Power. heal. Yeah, yeah. So you're not in combat and you you're not empowered. So you heal for basically nothing, and your wave hasn't taken any damage. So you you really don't get very much value out of that heal. Whereas like if you would let's see, do you hit the dash here? You do. Yeah. Honestly, like. See, imagine if you honestly had just put another point in your three, you'd probably kill him. I don't know if you should have done that or not, because but the way he was like playing up and he's level two still. Um, if you have another point in your three, you probably just kill him here. Yeah, I would have. But um, okay. yeah, probably on the heal, just wait, because you you just don't get very much value out of it. You need totem, which is good. Yeah, you have a ton of pressure on this guy right now. I think I, I'm glad that you started beads, because it always feels bad if you like start blink and then you get camped by a Thana, and it's like so easy to get camped. I also think into King A, a lot of the time, you just beads his ult, and then he can't really like all in you. Yeah, I agree. Here you kind of go for poke. Um, so like he, at that point, he's like already cleared your archers, because he, he just as blue stone a one shots him i think you go for clear there and then you like right here you have all your abilities up i think you just go for clear and then you try to poke him with dash and everything um right. and again you use you know you use your dash before you use your three where your three or your your dash is literally so good for chasing people down king arthur didn't get his three at level two no he didn't he got his two which is fine but in this matchup it just like it just depends, I would say. I think he probably could have gotten his three though and done really well. This is a brawl. Yeah, so because like because of the way you played the last wave, there's just still archers. Nice though. Oh my gosh, that was close. That was sick though. Yeah, yeah it's always scary because like it's especially scary if you play into like that many archers like there was four archers there you know in an early game that hurts level three than i mean you shouldn't be too scary as long as like he just doesn't hit you with scythe wait did he scythe you there i couldn't even tell i don't know maybe he hit the blue buff what the f did his I think his scythe hit you just for nothing. Unless it like... like 43, I think. There's no way. I think it was like 43. Look at this. What the actually, fuck, bro? Uh, yeah, what? 43 damage. <laughs> what? Bro, that is insane. I mean, I guess he's level 3, and he, I guess he must only had one point in it, but that's actually insane. Yeah. He must have leveled his 2 and not double leveled his 1. Yeah. Unlucky. Wait, is it a rat support? What the yep. fuck? Oh, wow. I think so. I don't know. There's just three people in my lane at three minutes. Yeah, that's tough. You don't really expect that. I don't know why I beads. Yeah, unlucky on the beads. But, I mean, just unfortunate. Definitely, like, unfortunate that there's that many people. Getting totem and just clearing. Probably, uh, honestly, you could have. So this is like, I mean, you could do it. You, you wouldn't need to. I would say either using the time that you have, like, like the wave here. You could probably just freeze it and either put wards out or do scorp in, because he'll probably lose a couple minions. Um, and that was like a brute wave. I don't know. He might have. He might have lost just as much to. The tower, though. Yeah, I come from playing League, so a lot of the time, freezing is much better, but people have told me that, like, freezing and smite isn't as good. I've only really seen it done when, like, ADCs are, like, completely, like, ahead of each other. I think I think freezing is really good, honestly. Um, 
especially like in well not really this matchup because you if you freeze him out he kind of like you kind of you guys kind of trade and normally unless you're pretty far ahead he probably wins that trade um if he just hits everything but like some matchups you like you if you have pressure you definitely want to be like freezing them out like standing kind of at their tower line um or like if they're not there just not clearing the wave Your your ward placement's kind of interesting. You, those are like really deep in your own jungle. Yeah, cause uh, the rat M fan came last time, so I don't I don't know. I was just being like scared. I don't know. I I could be placing it like between Totem and his blue, but I, I would probably place one like I would probably place them like up in this area, cause both of those gods are gonna like ult you from normally like they're gonna do backs and then come to like here and probably ult you, cause they have globals, right? Mm -hmm. This is always a weird matchup because both you guys kind of can like ult each other off cooldown and like get it back up so fast. Um, I would probably say it's more so worth it for him to get like to trade ults just because with double globals like. They have much more potential to gank than a Pele would. Mm -hmm. Um, do you do you always max your dash second or nah? Uh, depends. I used to only go heal, but when I feel like I'm ahead or have pressure, I level my two, so I just run at them. Yeah, know. it maxing your two is really good for like mid rotations because you actually one shot somebody with like your three and your two if mm -hmm. you get both on them. Yeah, like these games, like this is like a plot game, but even these games, like it's seven minutes and it's such like a bloodbath. Yeah. Yeah. I watch like like high elo games or like even some games you play, like like the I don't know, man. Like nobody dies until like ten minutes. Yeah. These, it's like everyone's just fighting consistently. Yeah. Like my these... time's zero two. Like <laughs> these games are weird because like uh. Nobody really farms. Like it'll be like twenty four minutes in, and people will be like level seventeen just because like everybody's mm -hmm. died so much. Um, you walked up to his blue, and you like it spawned right after. I probably would have warded it. I mean, you had two wards, and I still I don't think your wards are doing much for you where they're at right now. Yeah. I fucked up the all. I think I die for it too, don't I? No, I don't. You're good. I think so. Like Guan, Guan ult stuns for two seconds. Like I think if you and you had your Talos assault up, like you had pretty much everything up. I well, I guess you didn't have your dash up, but you had Talos assault up. You probably could have either Talos assaulted him there and immune the knock up, and then ulted him, or uh, canceled your ult sooner. Okay. Um, because like honestly, King Arthur's pretty sick at like like dodging the old yeah, just like that right yeah um like his three and then his two in red stance is pretty sick at dodging so and he didn't have it up but i mean i would i would say like whenever they're weak like that just you know definitely definitely trying to confirm it especially when you're full passive like that two seconds stun you literally get like two autos off and then you tell assault him right okay but is i mean there, is there like a good way to auto cancel on guan because i know his third to cleave and his fourth is just super long um i normally i normally just auto once um but like that two second stun you could have gotten like two autos in right but yeah his 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 first auto is pretty good it's not like it's not like a bad auto by any means um yeah i i normally just like throw an auto out and then use abilities um unless like i'm clearing like this obviously you want to like get the third auto and and yeah you cancel the fourth there that's fine i mean you wouldn't need to but is it like greedy of me to always want my blue like alone for the XP? Or... Um, I, I hate when junglers like share it. They walk over, like they skip their backs, and then I lose like fifty gold and half the XP. I like, would say, I would say most of the time you want your jungler to be splitting that with you because junglers like if they don't get blue XP, they kind of get put pretty far behind. I would say. Um, I would I would say most of the time. Um, like don't save it for them for too long like if they're just not there right but if they're there i would definitely like let them come over and get xp 
Um, because it definitely feels bad as a jungler not getting blue buff, I would say. And I would say most of the time the enemy jungler is getting their blue buff XP, so it's not really putting you behind because it should be happening on the other side. And again, it's like it's like shitty because like in low MR games, you like you don't know your jungler could suck and like not do anything with the farm he gets, but yeah. you kind of gotta trust him and like give him farm. At this point in the game, I don't think it's really worth it to Tal assault him. Probably just Tal assault the wave and rotate. Um, okay. Because he'd, he'd probably have to do something really stupid to die. Your Pele is there, but like again, you guys killing him under tower would be really tough. Also, do you flash builds at all soon? Because if he has Gaia, like Gaia tank boots, I don't think a Pele Guan are gonna, is going to have like an easy time to kill him. Um. I can't. St I can't tell if he has a guy on him or not. I I hit tab pretty quickly. Yeah, I mean, like you're doing a lot of damage to him, but I don't know. I feel like you Never wouldn't. Killing him, right? It it would be really hard, and like, I guess he could like be a noob and die. And you do a blue buff, and he doesn't. You have like upgraded blue so you're gonna have your ult up like in 30 seconds you know so you can keep pressuring him but i think it's i think it's almost not worth it like i don't know he keeps stepping up though like completely out of mana i feel like a lot of these games like i will just be landing and a lot of the stuff i'm doing kind of just wasting time it's useless I mean, there's not much for you to do because, like, they're fighting all the way in left lane. And even if you rotate over and help them win that fight, Scorp is still up. So it's like, what are you guys going to do at T1 and left? Like, yeah, it's, no cold for you. there's not a ton for you to be doing. Um, so you can just kind of fight them. You could be, like, trying to proxy and rotate to their backs or something like that, though. Mm hmm. So at this point in the game, like you are the strongest god in the game, right? Other than maybe King Arthur, but you're ahead of him. Um, so definitely, like, probably try to make a rotation now, because I don't know. I also hmm, look at their team comp. Like, you probably wouldn't have needed to go Genji's. Like, Genji's is sick, but um, what would the, be better here? Um, if I'm like really paying attention, like in the game and like wanting to wanting to win, I probably either. Go like more Fizz D or go like a Winged Blade just for Magical D. Cause like, I don't know, like, they're against four physical and their only Magical is like Ymir, right? I think. And Winged Blade, I think, gives CCR. So it's like, or maybe that's Witch like, Blade. I'm not sure. Void. I would probably go Void or Glad even. Glad would be pretty sick, I think. Probably Glad. Because, like, trading with this guy right now, you're kind of getting out-traded just because you have a third item that's literally doing nothing for you, right? Like, your third item doesn't do anything. Whereas he probably went Gaia into, like, Glad Shield. So his third item is, like, a big power spike. Yeah, he went... Oh, he went... oh no, he's... He... Oh, Glad. wow. Genji. He doesn't have anything online. I guess he, I guess he just backed recently and got Glad Shield then, because that... that's doing a lot for him. close yeah um i would say like honestly this happens to me too like i'll be playing guan and like playing against the king arthur and at some point like he just kind of starts winning the matchup like regardless of like if you're ahead or not um his scaling is just like too high and with glad shield damage it's just too much because i mean like you didn't play that you didn't play that too bad i mean you pretty much hit everything and it's not like the wave pressure really mattered very much this the like the same thing happens to me like i at probably like 12 minutes at probably like 10 minutes i just don't fight the king arthur you know mm -hmm. yeah the king arthur has tank boots yeah, tank boots do so much in the Guan too, because he's all tick damage, right? 
Yeah. So this is like, it's like 17 minutes in and this is like maybe the first time you've rotated? I went to that one fight where Rat died, but other than that, like I don't oh, know yeah. when I'm supposed to roam. Cause like I don't, I don't know when I'm like, I don't know when to do that. I don't do that enough. That's kind of like why I lose games. Cause I'll like, I'll get out of laning phase at like 15 minutes. And then all of a sudden like my mid's like 0 and 5 and I could have like stopped it somehow. I don't know. Yeah. I, so I would say with Guan, the second I get like breastplate, like, so you can rotate with just boots and one shot somebody, but like, you don't want to rotate and like, tower dive die. or like take yeah. very much damage without breastplate but once you have breastplate like you you can dive a t1 for like four shots and be fine um so you you blinked on a rat earlier i don't know like you don't really ever kill that guy like that's rat support too right so he's tanky i think it was stance i don't know what it was but uh, i think rat has like hydra's void shield oh does he i don't know i mean I don't know, still though, like he either, you either block his dash and he ults, so it's his ult for blink, or mm -hmm. you you don't block his dash, and I don't know if that's like a worth trade. Your Heim's just not there. My, my mental bad. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how to, I don't know how to like not type. It's bad. I think it's stand support actually, why is he level 13 and rat's 16? I forget, this was like more than a week ago. You kind of commit like everything on the Thanatos, which mm -hmm. like obviously like your team didn't really do much, but the Heim was like nowhere to be close. So like I would say the second you get his beads, you just walk away. You like help your backline because Guan is so good fighting next to his teammates, right? Because he's healing them and getting cooldown Spam reduction. One, yeah. Everyone's just dead, so that's probably fire. But yeah, if you, like, I don't know if you, like, were thinking about whether or not that guy has Scythe up, but, like, he heals, he outheals your damage. What is the fan yeah. build, bro? He has Actually, haste yeah, and... I think it's stand support. I don't know, man. He has oh, wait, no, haste no, it's and, mid. bro. It's stand mid. That's okay. what it is. Okay, okay. Yeah, that makes more sense. <laughs> I don't know. This is a shit show. And I think, I think Wingblade just does so much more for you than Genji's if you get a third. Mm -hmm. And honestly, you could have went Spectral earlier. I don't know what the Shibonke is built at. I don't think x had... He has, like, Transkins right now. I don't know. Oh, really? Okay. I have no idea. If he was going, like, a regular build, I would have been fine with, like, a Spectral earlier. Like, you could have went, like, Wingblade into Spectral. Because it, it honestly feels pretty good to, like, rotate to a fight and, like, they just got their first crit item on and they still do no damage to you. Mm-hmm. Their team fight's kind of nuts with a fucking rat Thana Shibalanke ult. Yeah. And Ymir. But it's okay because they dive this and they'll die for it. So I think um so like right here you like use your ult on both the tanks, and I think like that's fine, but I don't think you needed to. I think you could have kind of went for their backline. Um because their backline's still like just free casting. You have everything up, right? Like you have dash up and you'll have you have cooldowns up and everything, so you're pretty safe to like dive them by yourself. Um, okay. And I mean, they're not really getting any damage off because their front line is just so deep. But you like, it say they were getting free damage off. Maybe your team like takes a lot more damage, right? So you could have played a little bit up on. I guess it's the rat Chibalanke, and then you might have had better chase potential here. I don't know if you guys catch them or not. body blocking but he has dash Import. I think if you don't stop to auto the rat you probably kill that guy the Shibalanka you like mm -hmm. you stop right here right, that's just a small thing but like right here you auto twice whenever he just doesn't yeah. he doesn't take damage anyways you could just dash through him I slowed down but I mean that's like a pretty small mistake just unlucky
Hold still down, that's tough. Maybe could have called like Pyro if you knew gold was down, but obviously you guys didn't know. But just like keeping track of those timers, right? Nice job getting on the Shibalanke though. Like that two seconds stun lasts forever. Kind of funny that the only person to like get on him with you is the Geb punching him. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine, it looks like you guys are owning. I think it's just game. Yeah. But like laning wise, I don't I don't know how to like bully them out. Cause I'll 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 play against Guans and I'll get my shit kicked in, but I'll play Guan and like I can never kill them. I mean, I you solo know. you solo him twice, right? No, no, I sold him once, and then the Than mid came to my blue, and mm. then I just couldn't do anything after that. Yeah, I mean, it's also like a King Arthur with like tank boots, you know. Mhm. Mm um, which is kind of pretty hard to kill. Um, and like most of these were like really close, right? I'm always like 2 HP and he's like 2 HP. Yeah. Yeah, I would say just like earlier rotations, but also, I mean, this game was kind of weird because they were always fighting in weird spots. Like they're fighting at the purple right now, and it's like you can't really rotate to that. That's like every game. <laughs> uh, I just don't know, like, what is a good way to just straight up carry games like if if i just have to play jungle that kind of sucks i'd rather like play solo but yeah yeah like, i get that i mean i would like it feels bad like having to play off roll to to win games um <clears throat> i mean again like whenever i rotate like i always rotate with like something in mind so like if i rotate and like their red buff spawning i'm like okay i'm like looking for their red buff right but i also like i'm thinking about like who the problem is on their team so this game's weird because like they don't really have like a, a magical mid, right? But if you like, if you rotate with breastplate, you, you're like, okay, I can one shot their mid as long as I don't like, you know, get hit by a kraken or something like that, right? You do solo him twice. Yeah, okay, I do solo him twice. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so like this is fine. Like you have a lead now. Um, do your blue, you know, back get breastplate. Um, and then like look to rotate mid and like just like knowing. So I guess like I would say since you're up it's okay to lose a wave or two right like you could try to proxy and then you could literally just roam the map for like a full minute um and you'd only lose like one wave um <clears throat> and like i think than is like really easy for you to kill like he's level eight you're level 10 um if his ult's down you one shot him okay so is there anything like big i just do wrong in general or like um, is there any, like, mis like, bad habits I have, or... Just kind of... It's, it's only off of one game you're seeing, but, right, but, like, still. Yeah, I mean, just, like, I guess just fighting him a bit longer than I would have, um, and, like, not rotate as much. Um, and then... I guess, so, like, in the mid... Like, unless it's, like, super late game fights, like, super late game fights, you can never dive their back line alone because you just die. But in, like, the mid and even, like, somewhat late game fights, especially once you have, like, Spectral, you can kind of dive forever. Um, and probably be okay as long as, like, your Pele is near. Um, I would say just, like, not overcommitting your dash if you don't have beads. Because uh, the Ymir Freeze right. will, like, fuck you pretty bad. Um... Yeah, no, I would say just fighting the guy too much, not really rotating. Um, maybe better better ward placement. Um, like right here, Man, you you, just, right here, you could probably just clear the wave. These are such small things. Like I, don't, I don't know how. Like it's it's such small things, but it makes a difference of like a thousand MMR. Yeah, I mean, I well, because it's like. This game like could have been much easier to win if say you rotate twice and like kill their kill both people in mid twice or something, you know, then it's like mm -hmm. then you just win for free pretty much. Um okay. So it's not like it's not super small, I wouldn't say. Okay, yeah. 
Man. I just... I don't know how... Okay, also, mental? Is there, like, a way, is there a way to just not type? I don't know how to, like... I'll just unbind your enter key. Just take it off actually, your keyboard. Um, I mean, not actually, but, like, kind of. Because typing at people, even, like, in my rank is, like... Like, like I would say it's never worth it. Because people are just going to play the way they want to play, right? And I say even yeah. in my rank, not that I'm, like, that high. I'm, But, like, I... You know, at 2,700, you, like... People know what they're doing, right? Um, yeah. to, to for the most part. So it's like, unless you really have something like, I would say the only time it's really worth it to type is to like type cooldowns, um, okay. like beads or whatever, um, or ults. Because like, okay. other than that, I mean, or I like you know, know typing yeah. like typing like, hey, like let's look for this blue, you know. But just typing like telling somebody to do something differently, unless it's like. I mean, it could be small things like, yo, Pele, like, get on the Thana with me or something, you know? But it's, like, yeah. I don't know. In in everybody's head, like, they're kind of doing the right thing, so... The, yeah, the games I'm playing, I, like, people's builds are absolutely atrocious. Like, the ADCs are building, like, Soul Eater and shit. It's, like, actually unplayable. Yeah. So, I don't know. Yeah, that definitely sucks, but, like, I don't know. They're probably just going to get upset if you type at them for that, right? Okay. Um, so I do my best to not type. Okay, so not typing, and then at a certain point in the game, I'm just never gonna kill, like, a King A or a Kukulm with tank boots, so I just ignore him. And yeah. And then run middle a lot more. Yeah, I mean, this, you probably could kill this guy. There was, like, two missed dashes there that maybe you kill him, and especially because he doesn't have blue, so you could, like, maybe just out-pressure him for blue or whatever, or for mana pressure. Um... Because he, he's kind of misplaying, right? But, like, that being said, I would say just clearing and rotating would be better for you. Okay. And if I get a duo, should I get, like, a jungle duo or mid duo? Like, what? I, I think a jungle best. duo kind of just, like, while it's probably the best to win games, um, it can kind of handicap yourself. Because, like, if you're used to a jungle playing off of you and, like, being in comms with a jungler like if you play in a, a higher level lobby and like you don't have that kind of handicap or like leg up i guess it's like a bit different so like i mean i don't know jungle is probably your best bet adc probably your second best bet um because you can okay. you can like late game fights you know a solo and adc can easily carry um okay well that that helped i just i don't know at this <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna have to like coin flip the games because uh, at the like I'm I went I went for like 2100 to 1150 and I'm at like 1300 right now and the players are just so bad so I'm kind of just coin flipping at this point because I'm playing solo so I'm just a meathead at this like I don't know what there is for me to do like roaming but other than that like it's you can't always win them yeah like the games that you're you definitely speed. you got to know that some games are unwinnable but again like this is like another small thing that like kind of leads to a bit big thing like right here like you're towel assaulting him you like i think you might even cancel it to try to get the dash on him whereas like just clear the wave you know and then you can like and try I, to I could it. proxy the next one and then just go somewhere else yeah right? yeah you don't like i don't think you really die to ganks maybe once you have your beads up you look to proxy but you shouldn't die to ganks when you have everything up. Okay. So I guess I'll just have to roam more and pray that I coin flip out of this. But, yeah. Because I, I think I play fine. I don't think I play at, a, like, a 1300 level. But, like... Yeah, I get that. I mean, it really just is, like, sometimes unlucky. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you. I don't know. There's not much more you can say, honestly. Like, I... Like, it's just the small things. And yeah. Hmm. So I guess it's just like bad hat, like staying in lane for too long and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks. Like, yeah, uh, of course. Here you ult him, and like, again, you don't kill him ever, and now you're like, now you're much more susceptible to ganks. Like he actually out trades you. You get his beads, but he out trades you while you're in ult, right? Um. The okay. the recent ult change to the nerf kind of hurt because you just don't do very much damage. Especially so, the tank boots king right there. Guan, Kukulun, should I just not play king A in this elo? Because it's like... I mean, uh, unless what? you're going to like beat the brakes off of him. Um, okay. Like, I... 
I don't know. Unless you're literally going to beat the brakes off of them, a jungle is going to rotate over and you're going to kill the jungle too. Like, I would, I would play stuff that like you can definitely like look for solo kills. Um, I don't know. I think I think King Arthur's probably fine. Guan's fine. Um, I mean, most most solos are fine because you can just look for a lot of pressure. Okay. Um. But I would say I would say also at this MMR if they're like if you if you're like last pick or something and they have like a cheese solo you should probably pull out a cheese solo because like a meta I play, solo I play, I play the AMC really yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm like I'm like I'm like six and two on it or something I don't know but like especially at this elo like players kind of just run at you and you just ult them and yeah they die I get that I watch I watch a lot of Sizk or I can't Sizzik Sizzik yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Well, I guess I'll just I'll just watch more of this. I'll literally just sit there and like mimic things you do. I guess because it's a lot of small things, and you can't. It's, it's also not like just the answer to winning. <laughs> yeah, it's also like different when I don't know. Like it's like hard to focus every single game too. Like so, like I don't know how much you play Smite, but like for me personally, like I a probably lot. I probably get like. Like uh, every day, I would say I have like about four hours in me of like my best smite, and then it's kind of like it's hit or miss. I'll like have shit games, you know, where I'll just play poorly. Um, I think if like you really want to climb, I would say like commit yourself to like five or six games and like really try hard for those games. Um, unless like streaming is more your thing, because like obviously you're streaming I mean, here. I, don't, I I I literally just stream to have the games recorded gotcha. in case like i need them for something okay that makes sense because I, I look back at my games and i'm like how could i play this better and then uh i try to improve so yeah okay. i mean i don't i don't i i haven't ooh, i haven't seen it i don't know if you've like invaded their backs like at all this game though and that'll Probably like not not this game i do it in general but not this game yeah like, and in matchups unless like i don't I don't do it a lot on like Guan and stuff, like because I feel like it's hard to do, like unless I have alt up or I don't know. Yeah, I mean, like again, like I don't think you really need to be using alt and lane past a point, right? Yeah, and... especially if I'm not leveling it, right? Like I'm not gonna kill him with it. Yeah, I I like leveling my alt though. Okay. I, I especially like since the change and it doesn't do as much damage. Like it honestly feels pretty bad. Like. If you rotate mid at like level like you know thirteen or fourteen, and like you complete like you hit a mid laner with like your entire ult, and it really doesn't do that much damage, like that kind of feels bad. Okay. Yeah, I put uh, this is my first season of ranked. Before I, I only had like a hundred fifty hours on the game, but like, I think where I got it's not that bad, but. <laughs> it must just be like my eagle or like a competitive mindset that i want to i want to hit like masters and all that but it's like yeah i get that i mean everyone i mean you will like you will at some point right like at some point you'll i would say win streaks and loss streaks are like inevitable so at some point you'll get a win streak that will push you up to masters right and i would just like try to enjoy the game up until that point because like if you're not enjoying yourself on the way like I don't know. It it's like what's the point of playing, I guess. Yeah, half half the time when I play, I'm just sitting there like molding. Yeah. You know, I mean, you'll you'll get to masters. It's like it's not something that um like I guess just enjoy the ride, which sounds weird cuz like a lot of people seem like they don't enjoy ranked. Um but I would definitely just try to try to enjoy like when yourself. I'm winning. <laughs> yeah. That's that's everyone. I think a lot of people like I guess like or like they hate losing more than they like winning and it should be the other way around you know you can't like a lot like let a loss get you down yeah, that's, that's me. okay well that's life life, I'll life I'll coach the, <laughs> yeah i'll watch the i'll watch the stream and i'll just i will from now on just like stop being a meathead in lane actually roam yeah i think i think roaming would be sick <clears throat> guan's guan's mid game is fucking nuts um again this was like a bit of a weird one but just you know Doing your best to roam for sure, um, and then like better ward placement helps you like roam more. So like I would say, if you're looking to proxy, like warding like their speed or warding like in this area rather than like here, because like 
Warding here and then being up here doesn't help you, but if you get deeper wards, you can be deeper, safer. Okay. Um, and then also just like playing, like whenever I proxy or like say like for the, for instance this game, if I'm up here proxying, like I have my I have my my I have my index finger on my ult, you know, because like if I can play off like a sand sound cue of like a fan ult or a rattle, you know, not getting hit by that and not like burning my beads makes it huge because then I can actually like fight into them right if a fan lands on me and I ult it then I probably just kill him um True. so like pretty much anytime I have a CC immune ult and I think I might get ulted I either have my hand on my on my uh CC immune ult or like a blink or something if I think I'm like walking and I might get ulted okay so I guess I'll play less games roam more and ward better because I play like like on the weekends and stuff or like after school I'll play for like 12 hours it's i mean that's not the best. <clears throat> yeah that's like if you really really want to like get your best smite out um <clears throat> but everybody's different too like i like i play for eight hours a day and it's not necessarily that i'm like bad for those other four hours but i'm definitely like i know for a fact i don't play as well and so if you're really trying to like make improvements and win as much as you can i would say w like playing less um and then also like I would say if you also want to climb, don't let yourself lose more than two in a row. Like, take a break. You know, oh, even if yeah. it's like I'll, I'll go on like seven game loss streaks or something. Like yeah, that. so that's what happened. Like I, I hit two k or twenty one hundred, and then I lost like one game, <laughs> like maybe one one or two more, and then I went on like an eight loss streak, and then I just kept playing. I what, don't know. It's just... whenever I really wanted like high MMR, like I was like I want to push for three k. I was like. I would play, and then if I lost, like, two on my main, I would just switch accounts. And that's, like, easy for me, because I just have, like, like five accounts. But if you don't have that luxury, probably just, um... I don't, I don't think it's worth for me, especially at this level of an ELO, to, like, even make a smurf. Because it's, like, at that point, I'm just, like, it's probably not... Or, or maybe playing casuals, but casuals are kind of, I don't know. Even if it's just, like, you, even if you just skip a queue, I would say, like, like, literally just a small break. Go get a glass of water or something. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And if you know, like, if you know your last game ended on like a bad mental, like, either like know that you're gonna be better the next game, or like just don't play the next one. Like, wait until you have a better mental. Because <clears throat> like the literally the worst thing is losing a game because of the game before it. Um, yeah. Having like yeah, ha I try not to have <clears throat> like games affect other games but if i get out of like like if i get out of a game and i'm like i don't know why my like mid was like oh and eight or something it's kind of uh, it's yeah i don't know it's like it, it gets to you and then you 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 like get into the next lobby queue and like you're picking and banning and you sit there and like you see your mid lock in a bear and you just assume they're like gonna run it down or something yeah uh, yeah it can be frustrating um that's also like part of the reason i would say don't type um because like it's like one of those things of like uh if you say you have somebody shit on your team or they're just trolling or whatever like it's really not worth it to like make an enemy with them right because uh say say like next game they're on your team they're just gonna troll again or next game they're on the enemy team they might try that much harder to win right so it's like it's not worth it to like make people dislike you um like okay. if, if somebody is really just like not good it's just not even worth it to type of them especially like in my games because it's like if i have somebody on my team say like a fucking mid and he is just so bad like for all i know he could be fucking like 500 mmr above me as a solo in it right and then like next game yeah. he locks in solo and beats the brakes off me then it's like okay well i called this guy shit and now he's beating the fucking brakes off me yeah, this deal is just hard because, like, people don't swap, so they'll be, like, off-roll, and they, like, won't even bother to swap, and they'll be, like, first-time ADC, and they'll build, like, random stuff. I don't know. But I, I guess, like, I, I should get into the mindset of, like, some games are just not winnable, and, like, people with this ELO suck, and I should just understand that. Yeah, but also, like, you should be trying to, like, learn something every game. Like, even if, even if your game is unwinnable by the five-minute mark, like, you can at least learn a matchup for five minutes. You can at least like learn how to play better in a matchup. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know like how to counter pick and stuff. Like I, I, I used to play like I used to play support before ranked, and like halfway through ranked, I was like, 
okay, I can't win on support because I think it's once again low elo. So I was like, okay, still look good carry. But obviously I was wrong about that. So I don't know matchups like who counters who. Like like I'll I'll get into a lot of the time like King A versus Kakon or Guan versus Kakon or Guan versus King A and I have no idea. Like it's I don't know the rock, paper, scissors. Yeah, I get that. I think um <clears throat> if you like if you watch a lot of streams, you can see how they play it. And then also, like, I mean, Fino makes, like, videos, like, you know, solo lane matchups. And it's, like, who's good into who, who's not good into who. And, like, obviously, they change almost every patch. So it's, like, some matchups could be swung in a favor. Like, I think, um, like, a while back, his video, it's, like, Alma's a good matchup into King Arthur. And I don't think that's the case anymore. Um, like, I think Alma gets kind of shit on by King Arthur. But he may he may still think that. So it's just, like, and he may play it differently than I do um like, like even this game like look at like my my hymen rod didn't do incredibly well like my rod had like 9k damage in that game yeah, like, yeah. but i mean you guys won so yeah, yeah, yeah. and like you yeah, played yeah. well so it's like it's like this game say you just don't play as well but you go into the, the mindset like oh this one was just unwinnable and like say you like you don't kill this shibalanke like whenever you ult him here um, or yeah, like yeah. something like that happens. And then you're like, oh, well that game was unwinnable. So I would say like, I would say honestly, very like, unless somebody's literally just trolling on purpose, I would say very few games are like un unwinnable, right? Like you could maybe rotate. And like, even if you like suicide to like shut down somebody on their team, it might give your team a chance. Like there's a lot of things you can normally try to do. <clears throat> okay. Well, sounds good. Uh good i don't i don't want to waste more of your time no uh, to... i enjoy doing this i don't i don't mind at all thanks for asking to do it i hope i hope yeah. i help it's like it's like weird too because i'm not i don't do it very often so i'm not like mm -hmm. really good at it you know yeah okay damn i i think i think i just need to like fix mental and that should be a majority of my issue because like if i just a lot of the games i get into if they're like feeding i'm like hey can you not die more because you're like 0 and 3 already and they end up like 0 and 7 or something it's like if i just like don't type then that could have maybe not happened i don't know yeah or even like if you do type it's like in a positive note you know yeah like hmm. like we win this late you know because like a lot of games like dude there's games that i'll be fucking we'll be up 15k and then one fire giant fight goes like even slightly bad and yeah. then they stall the game out and win so it's it happens like all the time yeah, yeah. So it's like if you if you keep a good mental, that can always happen in your favor. Okay. Damn. Fix mental win games. Easy enough. Yeah, I would say so. Um and like like honestly, just don't beat yourself up about it. I mean everybody makes misplays, everybody plays poorly. Um and is yeah. still learning. I mean like the best players are still learning the game, so and nobody's nobody's perfect there's yeah. if there's a perfect player they wouldn't have ever lost the game yeah well that's not true either i mean okay, no, i've yeah, seen adapting true. lose 1500 mmr games so um sure all right well hopefully this helped um yeah it did i'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna try and <laughs> win some games later today <laughs> all right but well good luck yep thank you uh have a good day have a good stream i'm gonna keep watching but and then yeah, have a good one. All right, you too. Yep, bye. All right, well, that is it for this first second coaching session. I did one earlier, like a long time ago, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to put this on YouTube, so hope you guys enjoyed. Some life lessons, dude.